Hello, today we're going to be making a gathered puff sleeve and then we're going to be using the basic sleeve pattern which I've um, drafted uh, some lines on it and I've folded my paper. So I'm going to place the basic sleeve pattern on it now. You can see all the lines. I'm leaving some inches above so we can extend the top bit later on. So I'm just going to highlight the first mark on top of that place and adjust also the down. And as I move each line, I have to adjust the bottom lines as well. So I'm just moving each line. And when I adjust, I light the next one so I can move the sleeve again. This is just um, another way you can do it. You can also split those lines and then spread them all out. But I just prefer to do it like this. And I keep adjusting. It's not perfect, but at least you still get um, those biceps extended so you can have like a gathers. This is how you extend it so you can have more pleats there or gathers. So just keep doing it depending on how you want it. This is a f another method. There's another method I'm going to show you in my next video. How to make gather sleeves. So if the lines are not enough, you can also try and measure the same lines you've got on there. And just extend it again. To widen the ham hole just keep doing it and then you move the lines again to that point while you're doing this make sure you are adjusting the bottom of the sleeve I know my video is not showing it clearly at the bottom but that's exactly what I'm doing because the bottom of the sleeve will not be straight again you see when I finish drafting so I'm just tracing the remaining part of it. If you remember, that's the back sleeve. Later on, we're going to shape out the front one. And that's it, basically. Just tracing it out. And now we're going to extend it it depends on how puffy you want it i'm just doing two inches today so you can extend it more and just join it from there and that's it And then we cut it out. So I'm just cutting it out now. After which we're going to place the pattern again on top of it and then draft out our front sleeve um, curve and that's how it looks you see the bottom also is curved so get your basic pattern now and just place it on one of the sides like so twist it out And cut. And then you just gather it like that. And I'm just going to bring up my fabric now and then we'll place it on it. 
okay my fabric is unfold as you can see and I'm just going to place the pattern too on top of it just at the fold side and I'll just pin it down so it doesn't move about so I'm just using my paints just to pin it down but it's better to really pin it to the edges where you know the, you have the fold so it doesn't move about this is not the best of my videos but you just have to bear with me it took me ages to get this done like upload it because I think I haven't got much storage on my phone but not an excuse sorry my scissors is my paper scissors so I'm just struggling trimming it there but it's okay so just trim it all around like so and as I said I'm going to show you another way you can do a gathered um, sleeve with the puff as well this is one method very easy one but there's another easier one and that's it so I'm just gonna get my needle and my thread and I'll gather this one for, for you this is gonna be a fast one Okay, I'm still trimming that. Scissors, not good. I just think I'll change it now. I just dread using my normal fabric scissors on papers, you see. But what do I do? I have to use it. Okay. all done and now we go that's how it looks we get the needle on the thread now and then I'm just gonna gather everything this is the product can you see that just two inches and it's already looking puffy and that's it if you want it more puffier you just need to extend up the bicep and that's it for the tutorial for today please like and subscribe thank you